Well, let me, I don't even know where to start, but uh, this is by far my favorite, favorite reason for being a college coach, to come to alumni groups like this. I had a chance to talk to our president last night and let her know what we're doing. I talked to Coach D this morning. I told him we'd be all here together. I didn't think, I didn't think there'd be this many of you here. But, Now I know why those Rose Bowl pictures are uh, full of green and white. Well, I'll tell you, you know, I got a daughter. My daughter's here with me. She is a junior in college right now. My AD's daughter's here with me. She's a junior in college right now. And my AD's son who just graduated, but I'm gonna tell you what I told her. Don't get spoiled by this. This isn't the norm, you know? <laughs> I mean, since, since she's been in college, they won the Rose Bowl, they won the Cotton Bowl. Um, we're going to win a national championship in football. And we went to an Elite Eight, we went to a Final Four, so... These poor girls think this is the norm. <laughs> I know some of you have been through some tough times because I've been there with you. But um, I've been... Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I've been there 32 years since coming a little bit out of college from my uh, GA days. But uh, there's been a lot of great things going on at our place. And I think the greatest thing is we finally got some continuity and some consistency. And I... I say it to our players every day that, you know, our next goal, because we have another step to take here. Coach D and I talked about it a lot when he got hired. We talked about it a lot in the middle. And one of the reasons is to keep consistency. But the consistency has to be consistency of eliteness, not consistency of just greatness. So we want to take another step. To do that, you really need everybody from top to bottom. And I think a lot of you are in business, a lot of you are in big companies. And right now, you know, when I look at our board, when I look at our president, you know, last night she called me, she was at the hockey game. I mean, we got a, I don't know if it's an insult or a compliment, I told her she's the best athletic president in the world. You know, you're, when you're president, you're supposed to be all academics, which she is. But she's very fond of and very supportive of us. And then maybe what's really started this thing, the change at Michigan State, is we got the greatest AD in the whole country. And our AD, his wife is here. Nancy, come on up here with me. Along with Raquel and Mike Ian. Katie, come on up here, Katie. Mikey, come on. Come on. Come on, TR. Come on, Rockell. This, this is your athletic department, you know, basketball AD family. I'm, my wife is back home because my son's got to practice and I wasn't going to let him skip it. I can promise you he's pissed off at me. <laughs> but but you know what? It's it's unbelievable. The uh, We have a lot of our parents here. There's a lot of new rules now. The NCAA has kind of dialed it back a little bit. We're able to have Thanksgiving dinner with our guys and our parents. And we have promoted, I think, with Luana, but I know for Mark, Mark and I, we have promoted the family atmosphere about as good as you can get it. And last week, you know, when I recruited some of these guys, I told them, you know, you're gonna have the opportunity to maybe work out or be around Magic Johnson and Steve Smith and Mateen Cleaves. And sure enough, last week, you know, Magic, we went and handed out a couple thousand turkeys with Magic and, and Lansing. And, and then he came 
not only to our game, but he came over to practice. I let him coach. It was a hell of a deal for me. <laughs> but I think those are the things that are a little bit more unique here. If you look at all 25 of our sports, there is a bond between us, and I give my AD credit for that. You know, it's hard. It's hard. I know we got volleyball players here and softball players. I, I, I feel like I'm in royalty with Clint Jones here, you know what I mean? That's, that, that was my era, you know, that I grew up in and watched him play. But when you look at all the different sports, if you could be in East Lansing on a football Saturday and you see all 25 sports represented on that field before the game, it's one of the coolest things that you have. And so we're going to have some ups and downs, you know. I don't know. I mean, it's a little more difficult in our sport because we got so many games. I mean, we're on a seven games in 15 days. You know, we get home at 6 o'clock in the morning Monday. We play Louisville in a big game on Wednesday. So it's been a tough, tough couple of weeks. But I think like, like Mark says, he does his job to give us the best facilities, the best opportunity. He's, I guess if he, if he was a coach, he'd be called the player's AD. He's always sticking up for those guys, which that too ticks me off once in a while. But, you know, but, but last but not least, I do want to talk about my team. Um, you know, 